Good evening, and welcome to Cecil TV's 30 at 6. I'm your host, Rob Churnside. And I gotta tell you, we're coming up on the Cecil County Fair, which starts July the 20th. And before we get to that, we got a lot of good stuff going on. This Thursday, in Elkton, they will be having the Dog Days of Summer. Main Street businesses will be giving away treats, surprises, bandanas, and there will be plenty of ice cold water, or room temperature water, cold water, cooling, soothing water for your dog. And don't worry about walking the dog. On main streets it might be a little bit hot because at the Cecil County Arts Council they will be giving away and treating your pooch's pads on the bottom of the feet with a special treatment. I forget the name of it, but you got to go there to find out, and it's free. And check it out. There's going to be music down on the corner uh, provided by uh, the Elkton Alliance, the Witch Doctors, a blues and classic rock band will be there. The whole town will be partying. It's not going to be too hot. It's the start, really, of the dog days of summer, which I believe lasts from mid-June into mid-August. So, Lots more events are coming to our county seat, Elkton, so stay tuned and keep watching Cecil TV and 30 at 6. If your town or organization, church or society has an event, contact us at info at cecil.tv. And now some news. The Cecil County Department of Emergency Services launched a new community notification system called Code Red to send important alerts and time-sensitive messages to staff members and residents. According to Emergency Services Director Richard Brooks, the department can use the app to launch alerts from anywhere at any time, and residents impacted by weather and other time-sensitive events will receive them directly to their smartphones. All residents are encouraged to visit www.ccdes.org to sign up for Code Red and immediately start receiving his informative, life-saving alerts. The Maryland Department of Health is warning consumers to avoid eating fresh crab meat imported from Venezuela because of the potential risk of infection. MDH is investigating a cluster of infections in individuals who ate fresh, quote unquote, or non-pasteurized crab meat from a plastic tub with a label indicating that it is imported from Venezuela. The imported crab meat is sold under different brand names. Maryland crab product has not been associated with this cluster. The implicated foods have been prepared in both household and restaurant settings and include a variety of dishes such as crab cakes, seafood salad containing crab, and crab benedict. On June 27th, the Maryland Department of Environment revoked final approval for a proposed concentrated animal feeding operation or CAFO in Cecil County because it lacked the required environmental protections. MDE's decision to revoke the final approval and require greater stringency in the CAFO plan signals that new facilities must meet requirements to protect human health and the environment. This came after the Environmental Action Center appealed MDE's approval on behalf of the Calvert Neighborhood Alliance. We'll meet our first guest after these messages.